my name is Barbara Ryan and I'm director of the Group on Earth Observation Secretariat in Geneva, Switzerland. You know, it was the first time that uh, GEO had run this. You know, we've got a tremendous information infrastructure with right now more than 80 million resources that are contributed from many countries and organizations around the world. And yet we really want to unleash the power, you know, of those Earth observations. So we entered into um, an Appathon challenge. We had um, applicants from 250 uh, different individuals from 50 countries, which we thought was tremendously successful. Um, USAID uh, out of the State Department in the United States uh, 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 brought in prize money, the first prize, $5,000, so thank you USAID, um, went to an application called Growers App. And so um, it was really young people coming in and exploiting this information. So by our definition, really successful. But there were learnings um, because of those 250 applicants, uh, not all actually came in. They expressed their interest, they registered, but not all came in with an actual application. So we're going back to those applicants and say, okay, how come you didn't actually submit uh, an app? And you know, one of the things that we're finding is that maybe the information is still a little bit too difficult to access. And so while it absolutely was a success, and I hope we were able to uh, entice some other countries to come forward with some prize money this next year, uh, we would love to do it again, and we'd love to um, learn some of the lessons from the first time around and even improve the process for the second time. I, I'll tell you, that's one thing that I've been really uh, happy about in terms of participating in this GeoQuest, is if we look at the discussion Discussion over the last couple days, I think we learned a couple things. One is that the technological need for uh, spatial data infrastructure is not there as much as it was, um, you know, decades ago. Because if people publish their data to the web, then the World Wide Web is a global data infrastructure. Okay, so that's really amazing. Now organizations like ours, the Group on Earth Observations, should continue to come in and pull data from the World Wide Web if those organizations post their data to the World Wide Web uh, to in fact make it even easier to get to from some of their own communities. But I thought for me one of the key points that also came out of the last couple days is that governments may need a forcing function or organizations may need a forcing function to start sharing their data to the World Wide Web and this whole idea of spatial data infrastructures can be a good political forcing function even if it's not a technological necessity. I think in the next five years what we're going to continue to see is a lot of talking still about national or international uh, SDIs, but I think by the time we get out to 10 or 15 years, then I think organizations, particularly public organizations, will just naturally be posting their data to the World Wide Web. And so I think we'll have a much more interconnected world at that point in time. They absolutely are relevant to, to the Group on Earth Observation. So we have an urban areas initiative right now where I think maybe 36 or 3,700 uh, cities around the world are in fact being mapped with a Japanese and U.S. sensor called uh, Aster um, so that you can start looking at just the, um, uh, the migration of people really on the landscape. And then there are also uh, 26 or so mega cities, I mean just gigantic cities around the world where what we're trying to do is bring any geospatial information that exists for those cities together. Because you know, I think we've all seen the statistics about um, 
you know, by uh, uh, 2030, you know, something like 75% of the world's population are going to live in urban areas. So the impact of those people in those urban areas, whether it's heat islands and atmospheric influences, uh, whether it's increased exposure of people to natural disasters, there are immense issues that need to be uh, discussed, evaluated, and GEO is just happy to be pro uh, part of uh, those analyses.